Hey there, everyone. This is Al Cow playing The Legend of Zelda, and oh, hi. Uh, <laughs> well, if the P hat is there, it's like, all right, I'll just tank a hit, I guess. That's silly. Anyway, so um, we kind of don't really have a whole lot going on, but I want to showcase this here. See, like I kind of showed what. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I didn't turn around. There we go. Let's see, you go here, you go on the ladder, it's like, take any road you want. Then you take one, and look at that, you're somewhere else. That is how the teleport stations work. All right, you know what? And let's demonstrate another thing I haven't shown all game. It's the fairy founds. There's a fairy, you go see the fairy. A big circle of hearts! And you hear that weird raspy tone? That's very important. Then you're back here, then the ladder's is out. It's pretty good. Is it always like I do wonder? Yeah, see now I'm here, which is where I want it to be. Uh, cause we are going to be heading towards, uh, Dungeon 7. No reason to kind of stop. Could use money, I'm just kind of hoping I'm gonna get the money I need, uh, on the way there. But also, I don't think it's necessary. Alright, so, remember a hint we saw yesterday, there's like, hey, there's a secret at the fairy fountain that doesn't fairy. It does not bring you anywhere. Uh, just give me a moment, I'm gonna see if I can get some loose change here. No, money is good. That's right, I threw a magic spell at your back, and now I took it one money. Well, I don't know if the uh, people remember, but here is a lake that looks a lot like a fairy fountain place. But, you know, it doesn't have a fairy. Uh, what you need to do is very obvious. You toot your flute! Uh, instead of a tornado coming over, instead we're gonna cause a drought. I- I guess you're just gonna be trying things and at some point something's gonna something. Welcome to level 7. It is green and blue. I mean, the walls and ceil- why well, we can't see the ceiling. The walls and floors are green. Um, the statues, the gargoyles are blue. So that's, uh, the ancestor of the mole dorm, huh? Incredible. Well, I'm already full on bombs. I cannot bomb more than I possibly can right now. Okay, there's walls and stuff here. I don't know the shape of this place. Huh. Okay, and I destroyed the king of bats, so it's all good. Uh, yeah, I- this is a funky little room shape. It's just like, check it out. Do you like a big ring with a pool in the middle? It's pretty good. And see, you can see the shades of blue. It is the most precious of colors. Hey, uh, hey, it's boomerang guys. Wow, even with a magic sword, they still take two slashes to, like, kill. They are very strong. No wonder they were used as a semi, like, weird little sub-boss. I'm gonna set y'all on fire. That was mean. Should I have done that? Yes, I should. And I did. I'm not sure what my... Oh, Dick Dogger, what are you doing here? Alright, well, I'll sing a tune to you, too. Dilili, dilili, look at that, you split. It's pretty good. Splitting off into yourself. Yeah! More bombs! Stop giving me bombs! I'm full of bombs! I have so many bombs! Welcome to the skeleton room. It's the room with the skeletons. Everyone loves skeleton room. There's a key inside the skeleton. Wild! Why is there a river here? Do you want me to blow this up? I mean, I'm gonna explore with bombs if you just give me bombs. See, but here... You gave me bomb, and I, I should maybe. Okay, you know what? You give me bombs. Let's put bombs places then. Maybe it's gonna lead somewhere cool. All right, I'm even gonna put more here. And then, uh, so next time when I'm like, "Wow, stop giving me bomb," well, at least I'll have. Okay, yeah. See, it's okay. This is the river. There's a river. There's a key. Check it out. I picked up a bomb. Incredible. The most marvelous thing I've ever seen. 
there's a secret in the tip of the nose! Yes, thank you. And see, then he just boops you on the nose, and it's like, haha, and then he, like, lets out a fart. And there you go, that was the secret. It's just an excuse for an old man to fart in the presence of family. Anyway, I have more of these. <laughs> Except this time, ooh, watch out. Oh, shoot. Well, okay, I'm guessing I'll watch out. I mean, look, these are- oh, hello. Yeah, just get fairies all the time. Okay, I think I need a bomb at this point, right? Yeah, because I feel like... Okay, there we go. Because I feel, yeah, I did everything here. We're at the point where... I guess, I guess that's the, the code of the game. If it's constantly giving you bombs everywhere, it probably expects you to put a bomb somewhere. And I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put a bomb right here, between the traps. I'm gonna leave you... And I'm gonna bomb more walls. I'm gonna bomb- Hey, whoa, ropes are back. I was- No joke. I was wondering if we were gonna ever see these guys again. Like, just now. Before recording, you know, like, before I start recording for the day, like, I wake up, do morning things, shower, and then I start recording. I was like, when are we gonna see ropes again? And it's right here! Snakes are back! The Dongo, he loves smoke. Uh-oh, all right. Dang it. Dang it, I fed both these beasts instead of like, oh shoot. Okay, there you didn't give me bombs at all, you... Give me a heartache. Help, I'm bad. Uh, now I'm a little worried, bomb-wise. Okay, you need to be like, okay, please die, please die, okay, I did it. <laughs> okay, well, see, now I would gladly accept the gift of bombs. That's not a room of nothing. Yeah, you know what? That is some perfect timing again, old man. <laughs> How does that keep happening? I don't know, but I love it. Full of everything, what you gonna do about it? Gory up or like go back home? That mm, it's not as clever as you think it is. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna be real. Anyways, I shoot my sword out and then I get hit in the face. That's what I do. It's pretty good. So at some point in the past, I could have went up here. I guess I'm decide. I like to explore um, horizontally before going vertical. Uh, this is something I'm learning about myself. Oh, check it out, it's skeleton. It's a ton of skeletons. Alright, well, gonna get- gonna have to get some money back somehow, so here we go. Do we want to try and bomb things up? Maybe wait until I see the map. If I'm missing things, I'll know what to do. Check it out, it's a room. It has guys in it. Oh man, unbelievable. And yeah, this is just- this is- I feel this is when it sits in that the wand is super cool. I wish I had reasons to use the wand, but it's kind of slow. It's kind, it's kind of there. Dig Dogger! It's everyone's favorite. Uh, I guess we'll do that again in case it drops something. Oh my god, this time you might toast us than too many. It was a more mature Dig Dogger. I don't know. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, then you just kind of get stuck in a gargoyle, it's pretty good. Uh, Alright. Nothing, huh? It's nothing? Alright, no, no, I'm not gonna start bombing everywhere yet. Maybe if I see a bomb left on the floor or something, I'll consider it. Oh my gosh, it's Gloria! Glory be to- Oh, I shouldn't have picked that up. Because that would have given me an excuse to try and bomb places. Alright, you give me free money, that's pretty good. There we go, free fairy, that's pretty good. Everyone's pretty happy with everything they can find. Uh, another dark room. Grumble, grumble! Whoops, don't do that. He gets mad, and his fire gets mad. So, uh, grumble, grumble. He's not too keen on money, but if you try to walk past him, there's an invisible barrier. So remember that meat I bought and then never used ever? 
Yeah, the grumble was his stomach. You weren't talking to the Gloria. You were talking to his stomach. Then you feed him and he goes away. I mean, that's a pretty sweet, like, weird touch. I like that. All right, here, have a... There we go, check it out, that's where we're at. I think this is the devil, the demon, maybe? Something like that. Uh, dude, just, I, uh, where is land? Okay, you know what, I don't know this, this layout, I guess. Uh, but yes. Oh, wow, that is a weird map layout, no kidding. No wonder I couldn't, like, feel it out. Uh, but yeah, um, that is the actual reason you will go out of your way to spend money on meat. I just kind of appreciate how sometimes things just do things. Like, you, you can't think about what they do in terms of video game. You gotta just kind of think about it logically. You know, you got meat. It's just... The thing is, though, why can't you not defeat that Gloria when you've been massacring them during the entire dungeon? See, the game does not explain that. I'm gonna set that one on fire. It's pretty good. Now, if you look at a map, see, this is why. Because I can see that there is, in fact, a down. There is a room underneath this that did not have a door lead there before, so let's go ahead and spare a bomb and not be able to go there that way. All right. I'm not... I don't mind kind of just going around and trying other bombs around it. Because, okay, yeah, there's nothing here, naturally. Yes, now this is a dig dogger room, right? And I was like, oh, ba bomb, ba bomb, 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 bomb. Like, I wondered. And this is a spot. So let's try it. Put a bomb here. Nothing in here. Oh, there is something. There you go. Welcome to the sand pit. It's very green. Land molas, as far as the eyes can see. Moldorm. I don't know. They, they kind of share DNA, I feel like. Anyway, just, you know, sit back and let your magic sword beams do the talking. Alright, alright, well, yeah, you do get a key here. Can you bomb up? Just, let's find out. You can't. Alright, it's all good. Welcome to the world. If we look at a map, let's see, I can tell that I did everything vertically that I can yet. I kind of don't like how the shape of the squares in the hood Versus the shape of the rectangles in, like, the HUD up there, versus the map screen, rather. They're different shapes, so they take different space, uh, vertically. So you do have to spend, like, a second, I feel like, just kind of, like, reinterpreting the shape a little bit. I tried, uh, can you go inside the eyeball? Oh, yeah, sure can. So, you know, if you have a room that's surrounded by all sides, but that's not a room, I feel like it's pretty clear that it's more likely than not to actually know we have being a room. Now I'm starting to think this might actually be progress. So you know what, I'm just gonna go ahead and explore around. Well, this also could be the treasure, so I don't know. Oh, it's the treasure, sorry. Hey, check it out! It's a candle! Ever saw that before? I haven't. Alright, this is where I reveal the lie! Remember how I said that you can only use the, the, the candle once, right? Probably because of technical limit. It's a lie! You can have two on screen and you can do fire all the time all over the place if you want to. So, there is no reason why you're limited to the blue flame only once per screen. That exists strictly to be just a bother. Like, it's designed to just kind of be inconvenient by design. The blue flame is a choice. And I mean, I wasn't affected too much because I've said it before, uh, I'm genuinely, generally kind of aware of what I'm doing. But when you're exploring around, uh, like when you're trying to learn about the world, uh, and you only get, and you know, you're like, all right, well, I'm gonna start burning down trees to try and find out any sort of secret. Yeah, that becomes kind of a thing when, um... Oh, oh, that's interesting, okay. That becomes kind of a thing. Oh wait, there's a side that I haven't gone to. Sorry. 
Wait, what? Oh, it's probably maybe from the eyeball room. Actually, we're gonna continue. Anyways, yeah, the red, the red candle makes it a lot less of a hassle to explore. That's what I'm trying to say. Is there a thing down here? There sure isn't. How about here? Yes, there is. Oh man, welcome to another place of the face. Is this just me? There's Castle 7. Just kind of significantly easier than Castle 6. Like, it's just these guys. Like, uh, the mini bosses we've encountered are fine. These guys are whatevs. Uh, you can probably not bomb straight down into the Triforce room. That wouldn't make any sense. Like, wow, you get, like, the punishment rooms are not punishments because you can go back, and it's just these guys. I guess if you're not full, they can be kind of a pain, but... Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I should have used that bomb before picking it up. But I didn't expect that I would just pick it up like that. I, I thought that I would go next to it. Another one! Do you guys love Dig Dodger? Dig Dogger? He loves to dig. I can't blame him. Alright, well, there's a fairy, there's a nothing, and there is being hit in the back. And just kind of like no selling it completely. Oh boy! This is this cool room. More of these guys. Oh, whoops. Yeah, I don't have a bomb. I have a flute. I hate it when I'm about to put a bomb on the ground, but then I just blow my flute instead. Oh, hey, that's probably where I actually have to go. I mean... Let's... Try to get this done. Oh my god, this is... Okay, I see there, I got reimbursed. Alright, cool, sweet, and I'm full of health and happiness. Okay, alright, and then, oh, and your reward is more bombs. Alright, that makes sense. <laughs> that was not worth the effort. Uh, oh, hey, yeah, that's wrong. I think there are, um, hands. This is a secret hand place. Remember the hands from, like, the first castle? Yeah, I don't. Uh-oh. Don't want to get grabbed. And again, like, there's a reason why these are placed next to fun time karaoke orbs. It's because they're not fun, nor a time. Aw, oh, the money despawned. Alright. I think that's everyone. everyone there's a block you can push ah it's that one I thought it was the one above all right that's how we proceed well check it out we're going through a thing and yeah then we're gonna go into that zone that's a little blocked off and uh, that's how we're going to rule the world that's a really embarrassing keys hit I took wow you are just not that guy can stay he can stay it's fine Oh, in here, heavy breathing. Heal me up. We're gonna use a bot again. We're gonna have to blow our way to the next space and space quantum mechanic. Are you ready for the voyage of a lifetime? There is one place we can go, basically, and that is just strictly, I forget. Yeah, it's to the side. We're gonna complete the face of the devil. Oh boy. So, yeah, in throwback world, I don't know, have an Aquamentus while we're here. <laughs> the first boss, and I don't think he's actually, like, any stronger. It's just, it's that guy, he's here! Oh boy! <laughs> one shot! One shot, the boss! And we did it! Hi. <laughs> This is a weird one. I like it. I like that it's weird, and I like that difficulty can swish around a little bit. Makes things a little unpredictable, but yeah, there we go. So, the gimmick, I guess, of the Devil uh, Mansion is that it's very big. Sauna rooms, but it's just... This is proof that just having a lot of rooms can only get you so far.